this morning I'm coming for some water. Sun's up. Obviously not going to take it out of the lower part. filter it into that one. It. It's windy so hopefully you can hear me. It's day five. Camped down there last night. One amazing thing about this trail so far is that there's just always a view. This is just <laughs> so fun to see something so incredible at every turn. Look at that. Holy smokes. It's like a different world out here. Just love it. Seeing everything from the inside out. Imagine never experiencing this in life. Today is going to be a short day of about 10 miles for me into Julian, where I'm going to stay the night, do some laundry, try to keep this cold, maybe get some cold medicine. Switch out my shoes. up in the morning. <laughs> oh, makes you feel so alive. I can cheer up right now. before. <laughs> this so here at the same spot that brought me to tears, <laughs> there's this rock with all kinds of memorials on it. Ooh, maybe I need to be very tear too. Well, I still can't like even stop. <laughs> it's not even that time of the month. <laughs> I just have to say on the entire AT and everything, I have never had such an overwhelming feeling of just thankfulness and whoa. <laughs> 
that totally <clears throat> caught me off guard. <clears throat> and I got plenty of sleep last night. Uh, this is just so overwhelmingly immense and beautiful. I didn't know that was really possible. <laughs> like I've seen people cry over stuff like a view and this and that, but I've never really fed into it, I guess. <laughs> Not to be a brat, but... <clears throat> okay, I get it. <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm glad I'm alone again this morning, just because I just lost it. <laughs> trail goes up there. It just keeps getting better and better. <clears throat> this is what adventure feels like. <laughs> Never knowing what's around the next bend. up here. gosh I know it's gonna happen again <laughs> you know what I think I'm gonna end up hiking the rest of my life <laughs> I just can't get over this the feeling <laughs> I can't even figure out words for it I know I'm filming a lot of this part, but this is just so incredible to me, and having this emotional connection with it, I don't want to forget it. I have to record it. <laughs> Hope you all don't mind. <laughs> towards those snow caps back there. See those guys? I'm coming for them. Pretty incredible to think I'm going to walk that far. <laughs> but I've done it before. So, yeah. It's amazing what you can do if you put your mind to it. So Duncan told me a, a quote yesterday that I really fell in love with. Which... Um, he said, pain is temporary and glory lasts forever. And once I get all over those, I'm going to feel pretty glorious. <laughs> I like to give perspective in my videos. So yesterday, that first really epic view that I had of the valley was from that mountain range right there behind that bump. So that other little bump, it's kind of faint. 
right between there. <laughs> it's pretty cool to think I came over all these. Yes, beautiful. And I don't know if I told you guys or not, but yesterday I passed 50, 50 miles. So moving right along, only 2,600 miles left to go. <laughs> I can't believe how fast those first 50 have already gone. Mm. And today it'll be 60. Knocking them out. Well, I am in the town of Jillian. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> My shoes come tomorrow, so I'm going to have to find a place to stay. In the meantime, just check it out. Okay, I'm at Mon's Pie House here in Jillian, and she gives hikers, Anita is the name of the owner, and she hiked the PCT once, and she gives all of us through hikers a slice of pie, a scoop of ice cream, and a drink of our choice. So this is fantastic. Super excited. So here in Jillian, just got a room at the Jillian Lodge. Look. Lucky number one, one, one. It's good. It's a good omen. Cute little spot. Yeah. I like it. Very homey. So this is where home is going to be for at least the next, I don't know, 24 hours. <laughs> Try to get this hit better, this, this uh, cold in check. Get my shoes from the post office hopefully so yeah all right so i'm gonna take a bath <laughs> for the first time in five days we'll see how dirty that turns out to be and this is how hikers do laundry when there's no place to do laundry i keep these little packets these travel size sink packets and everything i need washed is in there so i'm gonna fill this up let that sit while i bathe and then hang it all up to dry And this is the after of hiker laundry, hiker trash laundry in a hotel. <laughs> so letting all that dry, and if it's not dry by the time I leave tomorrow, too bad.